Joining us now is J.C. Giron. He is the Senior VP at Enviro Gold Global. Great to see you, sir. Thanks. Thanks a lot for having me. Now, uh, you've said that uh, your company has looked at nearly uh, or more than 350 tailings projects around the world, but that only about 4% uh, make your criteria, make the cut to possibly be used uh, with your uh, uh, your proprietary, proprietary technology. So uh, when you are looking at these tailings projects, is, does it come down to tons and grades essentially? Are those the two key main things? That's a great question. Tons and grades are absolutely two of the key factors that we look at. We have about three, distant, uh, three dozen pardon, uh, screening characteristics that we use to identify projects at a high level before we do the desktop modeling. We look at things like geometallurgy, whether or not the permits are in place, how well defined the resources. So there's a lot of factors that go into identifying an attractive tailings project for us. We're very precise in what we look for. I should mention, because it's interesting, that uh, there's about 280 billion metric tons of tailings around the world. 4% of that's 11 billion metric tons. So we're very precise in what we're looking for. We exclude most of the market, but it's still a massive opportunity for us. Right, and you say that the total addressable market could be as much as 3.4 trillion. Correct, yeah. We actually think it's probably a lot larger than that. 3.4 trillion is just the value of gold and copper contained in global mine tailings, so there's significant quantities of other metals as well. All right, JC, so very recently, uh, the company acquired 20 patents and designs. This may get you into direct lithium extraction. So how important is it to add that to your, uh, to your uh, portfolio in terms of intellectual property? That's great, that's a great question. It's absolutely essential. Um, at our core, we are a clean technology company. Um, that's fundamental to our business model, so we're always looking for opportunities to expand our IP provide future revenue growth opportunities, but also improve the processes that we're currently developing and commercializing, for example, at our Australia project. Um, the DLE, Direct Lithium Extraction Opportunity, we think is very exciting. I won't get into that too much right now. Um, I should say we are really laser focused on getting to commercial metal production and generating free cash at our Australia project next year. So everything else is sort of secondary to that, but we absolutely think there's some great growth opportunities. Right, so this is Hellier. You've got a 43101, uh, which projects uh, 350 million U.S. cash flow over eight years, internal rate of return of 66%. So what makes the project unique? Yeah, another great question. There's a few things that make the project unique. I would say first and foremost, it's an extraordinarily well-defined and delineated resource. So there have been multiple JORC technical reports delineated, measured, indicated, and inferred resources. The tailings have been drilled. They've been very well characterized and studied. Um, we further looked at years of mine production data to complete our data model. And as you mentioned, we did update uh, recently the mineral resource estimate and release the 43101 technical report. So it begins with an extraordinarily well-defined resource. Um, and it's a very rich resource. So about 9 million tons of resource grading about 2.5 grams per ton gold, about 60 grams per ton silver. You're talking over 600,000 ounces of gold, 18 million ounces of silver. So a very, very rich resource. And the precious metals are locked in a pyrite mineral matrix. That's really the key to that project. And what we've been able to do is develop a two-stage leach that essentially oxidizes the pyrite, liberates the gold and the silver, makes them amenable to conventional cyanidation. Uh, and you know, to your point, really uh, unleashes uh, very, very strong economics. You said that you're in advanced late stage negotiations with a couple of groups in Mexico. I know you can't say too much, but are there any updates there? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to say too much right now because we haven't uh, released any information publicly since we announced that we're in late stage negotiations. However, um, I can say that those negotiations are progressing very, very well. And we do expect to announce one additional project, uh, which will be the Mexico One project, we're calling it, uh, this quarter. And we expect the second Mexico project will be announced at the beginning of uh, quarter one. Um, I should mention that the Mexico One project, one of the things that makes it special is like the Hellier project, it's also permitted. It's operational, so we think there's a very fast pathway to cash flow there. Uh, and it's a project that features a very similar ore type to the Hellier project. So our proprietary process has already demonstrated through metallurgical testing at, that, at the tailings at the Mexico project, uh, really attractive recoveries. Well, you just gave us more information than we had before, so that's perfect. That's great. Thank you. Now, uh, more broadly, do you think that you're really at the crossroads of the demand for battery metals, the demand for... Uh, cleaner, uh, greener energy, and you're really in a sweet spot. Absolutely. Look, you know, we looked at the detailed scope one and scope two emissions for our Hellier project. We're expecting to produce gold equivalent ounces, about 96% lower carbon footprint than the industry average. 
So we do think we're absolutely at a sweet spot. The world needs more metals. The World Bank says three billion tons of metals are going to be required for the clean energy transition. How are we going to get those metals? Primary mining is going to be one of the ways, but we think also what we are doing, which is taking a circular economy approach, turning waste into a resource, is going to be essential to meeting uh, the demand for metals as we go forward. And JC, am I right in saying that management and insiders own about 50%, five zero? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. And, and so uh, aside from that, what else should investors know about this opportunity? Yeah, look, I think, uh, and I appreciate you asking about the management team. It's a phenomenal team. Uh, the Hellier project is a very, very exciting asset, uh, but we think that our team is our best asset. So I would encourage everyone to take a look at the team. We've got over 500 years of experience. And as you said, we're heavily invested and committed to creating long-term value for our shareholders. Thanks, JC. Thank you. Okay, thanks for the update. JC Jerome, Senior VP at Enviro Gold Global.